quaint. Method, how, how can I do? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So we start our today's uh, webinar now. It's 4.30. And uh, first of all, a very good evening to our esteemed speakers, Mr. A.P. Sharma and Dr. Pradeep Srivastav, and to all the parents and the kids who are here to attend the webinar on parenting in the pandemic. and the world of sign tunes. Now these two topics that we have chosen are that th this is something new for students in it to learn from Dr. Srivastava and something for the parents to ponder upon and see some kind of solutions or remedies to what they are facing in the special times that we are having to go through. And on behalf of Quantum Vault, I welcome all of you. Okay, so today's for today's program, we had received registrations from 1965 participants from seven countries. So the program would go as follows. First, the introduction to Quantum World by me, that is Kostup. Then the second would be a session by Mr. A.P. Sharma on parenting in the pandemic. We have a fun activity for students and the last would be the world of sign tunes by Dr. Pradeep Srivastava. So before we start, let me just introduce you about Quantum Vault, like how it came into shape and what we are trying to do in this. So I have been uh, associated with the Royal Australian Chemical Institute for the past four years, and we have been conducting their programs in India and the Gulf. And uh, this year, their popular event, the ANCQ quiz, got cancelled because of the ongoing pandemic. So we wanted to do something for the students and for the teachers. So we set out with Quantum Vault. And uh, with this, we try to develop you know, innovative international events for spreading awareness, enhancing the learning experience, and instilling the 21st century skills. Now, what are these 21st century skills? These include creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, and communication. So in today's world, these four are the main pillars that uh, students need to build upon. They need to focus on these aspects of their education apart from what is in their syllabus or course that they are studying at school. Now, also the part of a journey is, you know, having these educators or these facilitators that we have that those are our teachers so we have uh, got programs for them you know to to have them uh, give you the new information to have them bring about 
the the changes that we wish to see for a better learning experience of the student our work philosophy is uh, pretty simple as it gets that what we do is we have experts and uh, pedagogists who try and you know help us out in uh, designing different programs and these programs then we take to the audience be it the students or teachers or in fact now for the parents that we have so we have this triangle which is an interesting triangle it has three vertices as parents teachers and students now earlier when we started out we were only focused on the lower two vertices that is the teachers and the students but as we grew we began interaction with so many parents and thought that you know one of the main aspect of our mission should be to include parents as well because they are equal stakeholders in this process as well so this is a first program we have already uh, successfully delivered upon two programs for teachers we have registrations ongoing for three programs for students and this is the first program that we have included parents in it because we we believe that parents are as much as stakeholders in this process as the students and the teachers okay so this was the first program that we undertook under quantum world banner we had quest for questions it was for the teachers and uh, 1551 teachers participated in it from 12 countries and we had the six uh, ace academicians from four countries who delivered their talk and uh, all the teachers were required to design a question come up with a new question based on the guidelines provided by these experts so i am very happy to tell you that by the end of this program we had more than 1000 indigenous questions designed by these uh, participants so this was a very successful program the next we had was a webinar on sustainability and 21st century skills so this this was the program that actually blew out of all proportions and we had close to 6000 registrations people teachers from almost 61 countries coming and participating and we had a, a very roaring response i would say to to what was being delivered still we get to you know, people are talking about it it's been more than 2 months past that but still people message us and tell us that if we have something more for them for the teachers then but we are we are surely going to come up with something more okay so these were the programs for the teachers and one we are starting today with the parents now we have three programs for the students because I, i as i already told you that we are focused on developing 21st century skills our focus is on having students with uh, with a high creativity with a high uh, level of communication also to develop their observational skills analytical thinking skills so these are the things that we we try to you know uh, we try to take to our students and uh, that we wish them that you know these are the skills that they need to hone and uh, focus upon so we have the first event for students that is the enviro quiz it's an international quiz on environment and sustainability it is an ai proctored event now what is an ai proctored event that is just an e invigilator that you can appear from your home you can you you can appear for the event using your laptop or a smartphone and uh, uh, what flexibility it gives you is that we have it on three dates so you can choose your date we have three slots every day so wherever in the globe you are you can just pick out your slot and uh, appear for the event and the best part about this event is that the questions are process based i'll just take you in detail about these questions later the second event is the scipy quiz that is an international science and mathematics quiz so what we have done is uh, we have we have undertaken we have uh, we have undertaken the syllabus that the students are currently studying 
but what we are doing is we are designing questions in such a manner that a new information is provided to the student and based on that information the student needs to deduce the answer of that question so this is what a process based question is like that a information or a fact would be given to you and using your uh, analytical skills your uh, critical thinking skills the students need to deduce the answer for that questions that are being put up based on that information so this is the same this is the second weekend of december again here also you can choose your date and time and the same ai proctored event that you do not have to go to any center or any school to appear for the event you just have to register with us book your date and time slot and you can appear well from the comfort of your home okay so the pattern of both of these events that is the enviro quiz and the sci-fi quiz we have 30 multiple choice questions to be answered in 60 minutes on the ai proctored software that you will be having and there is no negative marking because uh, we believe that you know most of the students should be able to solve many of the questions and if we have to inculcate the interest of students we need them to solve as many as questions as possible because that is when their interest will you know going to rise in any any subject or anything so that's why we do not have any negative marking because our aim is to reach all the students that are there it's not about finding out the best student or it's not about finding out the brightest student so this is the aim now the third event that we have is the wizard which is a very special event because it's a short story writing competition and this is the same you do not have to go anywhere you can choose your date and time slot now this is for grades 5 to 10 now the most important thing here in the story writing competition is that you will be provided with a topic there will be a list of topics out of which you can choose from so you will be provided with the topic 72 hours prior to the date of your event so you have been given suppose say 10 topics and you have to choose one topic out of those and the next 72 hours will be very crucial because you will be developing your story in those 72 hours you have to go surf on the net you have to find facts about what subject you are writing on you have to try and incorporate characters so all these things you need to work upon so this will be a kind of you know a, a worldwide experience for you where you can just uh, apply your brains use your creativity and you know your communication skills as well because in the in the end how your story would be judged would be based on how you deliver how your language is all these things so we have kept a word limit of 500 words i suppose that's that's good enough for a short story and you'll be having 90 minutes that is on the same system that is your uh, uh, smartphone or your laptop so these are the three events that we are having for students and we began registrations for them on october 1st so it's been a month of uh, registrations for us now and uh, the student response has been very positive we have been uh, receiving uh, uh, students from all over uh, the globe that they are going to participate in it so i'll just share a, a video about these events it's, it's just going to take 90 seconds of your time Next thing. 
30 seconds are very important for your child. We're in the midst of a global pandemic and so many parents are worried about the lack of learning opportunities for the children. But well, no more. Quantum Ball presents three international AI proctored events solely aimed at sharpening your child's creativity, critical thinking, collaboration and communication. Now, what is an AI proctored event? An AI proctored event uses artificial intelligence as an invitator. This just means that your child can participate in our international events from the comfort and safety of your home simply using a smartphone or a laptop. And what's more, you have the flexibility to choose the date and time slot for the event. There are three events. There's the Enviro quiz and the Sci-Fi quiz in which most questions are process-based. That is, the students need to deduce the answer based on the information provided in the question step. These questions will hold the critical thinking and solving abilities of the child. The third event is the Wizard, which is a short story writing competition. All winners get a chance to be published in the Wizard book. Okay, so how do you register? Just visit quantumworld.org, click on register and go to the individual registration section. Fill the form, select the events, date and time slot and make the payment. So many opportunities have been lost in 2020, so please don't let this one slip away. Just hurry up and register on our website. Uh, I'm sorry if uh, some of you haven't been able to see the video. I'll just try and replay, replug it in the end. So the registrations are open. So all the students and all the parents who feel that, okay, so these are the events that we wish to wish our child to pursue, then please go and register. And in the fun activities section, we'll be seeing a few of uh, the process-based questions. So students, please stay tuned. And now I would like to call upon uh, Dr. Pare to uh, give a brief introduction about uh, Mr. A.P. Sharma and then Mr. A.P. Sharma to please begin his address. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kausub. And uh, uh, we have uh, with us two special guests today, Mr. A.P. Sharma, the principal of Birla Public School, Doha, and other is Dr. Pradeep uh, Shirvasta, who is a senior scientist from CDRA Lucknow. And today's first speaker will be Mr. Epi Sharma. Of course, he's a very good friend of mine, but he's a seasoned academician. Uh, Mr. Epi Sharma did his uh, science graduation, and later on, he did his MPhil in economics. And he's a freelance journalist also. Mr. Epi Sharma has been uh, working for more than 30 years as an, uh, as an academician and as a leader. And he's a very popular curriculum strategist. Uh, Mr. Sharma has many awards to his credit. And some of them are like he got in 2012, he got a CBSC national award. In 2014, he got a national award from Mr. Uh, Mr. President of India. Then 2015, he got another Global Teachers Award. Then another 2016, he got the, uh, the award for women empowerment from UNESCO and Delhi Commission for Women 2016. He got 2016, he got an academician of the decade from the, the, the WEF, you know, so that way, he has got so many awards. And the most importantly, he got in 2018 from at the hands of Mr. Pradav Mukherjee, the then president of India, exemplary leadership award. So he has got so many awards and so many laurels. You know, uh, Mr. Epi Sharma has authored many articles on education and parenting. He has conducted more than 300 workshops for parents, principals, and teachers. Moreover, Mr. Epi Sharma is engaged with the international registered parenting expert uh, with an international organization. He is an expert on design thinking, and he has been speaking a lot on it, you know, and that uh, goes is very popular talks of that. Working for spreading awareness about the latest pedagogy in education, that is also is one of his passion. He has been engaged with the, the William D. Koning Academy in Netherlands, and of course with MIT USA for the last so many years. Mr. A.B. Sharma has been a CBSE exam reform committee member. Uh, he was in 2016, then he was a curriculum committee special invitee in 2018, and the marking scheme committee since uh, for the last 15 years. And moreover, you know, for inclusion education committee in 2018. Uh, it's something very important that Mr. Sharma is an advisor of the Minister of Education of India for 
PISA, that all we know, the Program for International Student Assessment. So he has got, uh, I mean, so many awards and laurels. We are so happy to have Mr. A.P. Sharma with us today. When the parents or students are together, I take this opportunity to very humbly invite Mr. A.P. Sharma to, to deliver his talk and deliberations. Mr. A.P. Sharma. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Pari. Uh, it was a very humbling introduction you have given uh, that make me more humble. And uh, Dr. Pradeep, Mr. Kostub, and Gargiji, it's a very nice uh, kind of uh, effort you have made. And this program is uh, beautiful. I can see more than parents, there are children also. And they want to see whether our parents are taking care of us according to uh, me or not. But it's good to see many students also here from various grades I can see from class five to class 12. And I could see students right from Srinagar presentation convent. I've seen many students to Chennai and from Northeast and even from Doha, Muscat. I've seen many students and parents from all over the world. So uh, welcome and uh, once again, a good evening. And uh, I think it's a very important day today as uh, the country, country is celebrating Unity Day, National Unity Day. And it's very important that uh, India is having all religions and we all stand unite to see that India is number one country in the world as far as if we find the satisfaction and happiness level. And we pray to the Almighty that yes, we, we carry on with uh, the great ethos and culture this country had in past. I will share the screen and will talk to you. <clears throat> so I will change my idea also now since I have seen so many children are there. So while we will be doing chat, uh, I, I'm very much interested sometimes asking questions and all. So the first slide is saying that to be in your children's memories, Memories tomorrow, you have to be in their lives today. So it's very important that parent plays very important role in their children's life. Now, there are so many interesting things. When you know about uh, small, small things, you get to know. And when you get to know small things, you come to know about better things. For example, Just a uh, the next slide is the relationship between a child and his or her parent is built little moments, not on the edifices of deeds and duties. It's not like every time parents give duties and deeds, that is not everything. So this is the first question, mainly for from the parents. So you have to write in chat box A, B, C, or D. And if you are having two options, you can write A, B, or C, D, or two options also you can write. And I would like to see that how we proceed. And so during my talk, I will be interacting also with you. Let me see. So I spy my team. I fully trust my team. I'm helpless and confused. I partly trust and spy too. I will request children not to vote for this. You will find few interesting things for you also. So just let us see what is happening over here. Lot, lot of responses coming very quickly, yeah. Yes, yes. So sir, uh, Dr. Pare, I will need your help to tell yes. you some of the responses. Yes, sir, sure. What, yeah, yeah, it is there just coming, you know, not stopping, yeah. Uh, Ram Goyal, B. Sir, so Ram Goyal says B. Then, uh, it's coming so quickly, sir. Any, yeah, uh, then, just tell me what kind of responses are Hiram. C, then B, one, a, yeah, yeah. Mainly it is B, 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 sir. Mainly B, B, B are coming. B. B are coming mainly. And, uh, yeah. That's very nice. So, yeah. well, I can judge that most of the parents say that I fully... There is C my... also. Yeah. Hmm. I trust, I fully trust my team. Mm. So very first time, I will give now opportunity to children. Mm. Now children will vote. 
what do you think sometimes that your parents spy on you then you will write a if you say no our parents trust us always you will say b if you say no i am confused whether my parent is spying me or just taking when, up everything <laughs> and i coming d just to spy b is, oh very nice so <laughs> b then d also a also is coming c is coming d is also yeah. coming d is coming yeah yeah yes 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 so uh, that's very nice uh, we could see that uh, there is lot of trust of parent on children and children also trust their parents but yes it's very important for parents also to keep an eye on children and it's uh, good for children that if their parents keeping an eye for their good because parents are the most important thing in your life other than the god they are the one who will take care of you and who will make your life so after that we come to this that generally parents have certain kind of problems in teenage even in younger classes so like if you think that my child doesn't listen to me you will write a my child replies back to me you will write b my child shows tantrums all the time c i can see children are smiling because few of them are doing this <laughs> e is all three mentioned above and e my child obeys me always that will come i don't think that will come as a response and f maybe sometimes obeys sometimes misbehaves yeah so a c yeah, yes sir f f is also coming yes, yeah. yes e e also d is also there d is also there but no, not a is not there at all a is uh, not there no d includes a b c <laughs> <laughs> d okay yeah. so this was interesting i could guess that there is some mistrust there is some mistrust between child and parent and parent and child both the way now there are three major tips of parenting or coaching no, first thing is no, no, parenting no, no, no. during pandemic parents pandemic and potentials if you want then first of all you have to ensure children's healthy and safety preparing children for productive adults lives and transmitting the important cultural values which they have learned this is parents duty now dear parents first of all before you want to take care of your child it's important that you must take care of yourself for example in my various webinars i have seen take a break from tv most of the time you will find uh, the parents are on tv and they are looking at what is the score right now right now maybe they are looking for ipl score but every time they look for what is the score of corona every day and then the talk talk of the town talk of the offices is oh my god today is 46000 today in france this much today in us is this much britain is this much and see in our kerala is this much in our kashmir is this much in our rajasthan is this much and what happens that all this kind of this these kind of news are going to reduce your immunity because the stress level goes up and your immunity goes down so my request is that whenever such kind of news is coming just avoid that otherwise also you get to know what is happening and especially children should not be exposed for such kind of news which is horrify them you must have a balanced diet you must do the work workouts keep children engaged it's very important during these days when children are at home you have to keep them engaged in some kind of activity which is productive which which is useful and which they enjoy not necessarily that just write 10 pages it won't work because child will write child will not learn anything try to do some yoga meditation lighter moments with children try that share some lighter moments uh maybe that this is a great uh, great time i i can say that this is the difficult time but sometimes it's very important that you stay connected with all of your relatives it's good that every day you talk to your grandparents if children are talking to grandparents this is good that they are connected so it is not like that pandemic come as a curse only pandemic uh, pandemic sometimes uh, works like uh, if you will see that works like a uh, 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 so, some some kind of a blessing also and but blessing in disguise that pandemic has given a chance to the parents to come closer to each other like you will find that nowadays all of us are maintaining hygiene whatever be the pressure and all but now we know that how we have to wash our hands and why how and why we have to keep our hands clean 
now we 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 get to know about the sneezing and coughing etiquette otherwise i used to see earlier particularly in india that people used to sneeze like this like a bomb has been exploded and they never used to see what about others so basically tech savvy mostly children were not uh, were not exposed to zoom and microsoft teams and all and parents even and teachers even all of them have got new skills fast food is away fast food is not available the children are having nutritious diets very good resilience has been developed now children have understood that how we have to cope up with this situation and then remember those children who are studying right now online or even coming to schools this generation will be one of the best generation of this century because tough times make people tough and you if you are tough you will be doing great things family bonding has increased and environment uh, has become very good nowadays even in delhi we can see each other from 100 meters earlier and after few days there will be lot of pollution due to prali and again this will be very difficult situation now we need more hospitals we need more school there is a there, there is a question but we know that we need more more schools if we need more schools we will not need more hospitals why because from schools we will we will be able to educate our children how to take care of themselves and there will be good doctors better doctors there will be children who will be thinking about the environment and everything so this is it that in covid we got to know some good things also and this was blessing in disguise although terrible blessing in disguise but yes so it's very important the sign of great parenting is not child's behavior the sign of truly great parenting is the parent's behavior please always remember that whatever parent does children follow that if the parent is telling lies children will also tell lies remember your kids first of all want to see you happy their behavior will be natural then only so try to be happy then children will naturally will behave and remember every child is unique and there is no one on earth like you so children you have to believe in yourself you are unique only thing is you have to discover yourself many of you during this pandemic time would have learned beautiful things some of you would have learned singing some of you would have learned instrument some of you would have learned some good hobbies so all of you are doing something great ah uh, earlier in school mobile was not allowed at home also mobile was not allowed so what has happened this mobile and other gadgets have become savior now there are many students who are attending their online classes on mobile and right now also many of you are watching this particular program and participating on mobile so it is not like mobile is bad bad or any other gadget is bad it is how you use it if you use it for constructive purpose it's always good stay healthy stay calm eight tips for managing your child's anxiety about covid 19 first of all create a routine listen to your child and check in frequently listen if child is talking about pandemic he wants to know about pandemic tell them and nowadays so many school programs were there when children know everything about that looks for sign of anxiety if there is teach them to coping up for any such kind of situations seek professional help if needed if child is really feeling sick really tense then check check with the counselor stay connected encourage positive thinking focus on controllable tasks like washing hands this is very important earlier i know all children i can see shorya is there rishi is there uh, we we were we were not very habitual of washing hands properly we used to wash it once once and that to just dropping water that's enough so it's very important that we generate certain kind of good habits now covid parenting what parents should take care first of all please take care and don't compare your child accept how they feel and give comfort take care of yourself so you can give them your full attention set rewards if they are doing something good set rewards okay if you are doing this good you have completed your homework good if you have learnt music good if you have helped your mom in kitchen good set certain kind of rewards and i will just request most of the parents if their children are small maybe 3 years 4 years 5 years do not use the word don't because using the word don't remain as a whistle blowing in the child's mind whenever he wants to do something good 
so from subconscious mind a voice comes don't if child wants to ask questions subconscious subconscious mind will say don't if child wants to say something good the subconscious mind will say don't this means right from the age of 3 if you want to teach your child instead of telling him don't give him reason if your child is licking the wall then tell him if you will lick the wall then this calcium will go in your stomach and then you will have lot of pain you want this child will say no instead of you say don't do this if child is going on certain kind of websites looking browsing which are bad then you can talk to the child and can tell them the reason but don't is not the solution because please remember when child is from 3 to age 9 most of the neurons means most of the habits are formed in that time only after that only weeding is done just like grass is there in grass if there is a there is a kind of a grass which is not good it it, it is to be weeded but 90 to 95% of your habits are formed during your formative years so parents please take care and if we talk about certain kind of things like in every family there are three children two children four children it's very important for a parent to set aside time to spend with each child every child is important and most of the time children also compare oh dad is every time talking to sonu and is not talking to geeta or is not talking to rabia is not talking to salim is not talking and is talking so much to jalal so that is very important that you give sufficient and almost equal time to all your children so they don't have that kind of confusion most of the children most of the children have that my parents like my younger brother more or younger sister more sisters have different kind of things but this is important and ideas with your baby and toddler it's important copy their facial expressions sing songs with them sometimes try to play some small small games with them that's important now what is daily routine this is very important in daily routine most important thing is your your every day is like a flight i hope children you know it very well that uh, in aeroplane whenever the aeroplanes take off is very important otherwise after when the aeroplanes in is in sky it goes on auto mode auto pilot and then landing is very important so landing is important and before that take off is important so early in the morning when you get up there should be a message to your brain that yes this boy or this girl is systematic if this message goes to your brain your brain will be systematic throughout the day and will be helping you so what to do first thing is whenever you get up early in the morning before placing your feet on the ground just count 1 to 10 why there is scientific reason when you are sleeping then blood circulation takes place in a different direction and different speed when you get up then it changes so brain needs to adjust accordingly and then you place your feet second thing what you did what you do make your bed when you are making your bed a message is going to the brain and the system subconscious mind that yes this child is systematic and then you can proceed further wake up whatever you do and do it accordingly do it accordingly whatever time you have fixed up for this that particular routine please remember that your body is also having a clock that is called body clock if you study every day same time then your brain every day will be on peak that time but if you don't have a regular routine your brain will be disturbed your brain will be confused sometimes when you want to sleep it will say no i can't sleep because this is not the time when you want to study your brain will say no i want to sleep so the idea is maintain routine regular so that your body clock works properly and follow your systems a critical part of healthy life you may be missing is sleep when you go to sleep shut down your electronics 30 minutes before bed 30 minutes before bed just turn off shut out as much light as possible commit to a sleep schedule minimum 7 hours 6 to 7 hours create a comfortable and relaxing sleep environment exercise and med- just meditate before you go to sleep but if you you are going to play something outside and all that is a different thing so this is landing of your plane 
so before you go to sleep just remember almighty thank almighty try to see what happened throughout the day and promise yourself that next day i will be better than this so now you have a good opening means good take off and good landing these were the two important things for your day coming about parents now parents have to see it very important during pandemic days that if your child is facing some kind of emotional changes like feeling of sadness which can include crying spells for no apparent reason frustration or feeling of anger child is every time fighting with other kids and every time he is uh, showing his anger feeling hopeless or empty loss of interest or pleasure in unusual or usual activities low self esteem there may be behavioral change also the child is feeling tired and has loss of energy that i am too much tired today aaj main bahut thaka hu i can't do anything then you have to think what is happening in so many i can't sleep changes in changes in appetite he is not eating most of the time you will feel that when children have examination a day before or 3 4 days before they will stop eating properly because of anxiety but that's not good if you will keep eating then only you will get sufficient energy for your brain to work agitation of restlessness for example any kind of pacing hand just ringing or an inability to sit still teens should talk to trusted adults children if you feel something like that then always talk to your parents and if you feel depressed always talk to your parents teachers or counselors there are certain kind of times during these times exams are also happening but don't consider this is the last exam this is difficult time and all of you will behave properly then you will become better gentlemen and of course girls can do great great things in life but they have to remember one simple thing that yes if we have some problem then we have to discuss praise your child when they behave well for parents now spending time with teens is very important nowadays in every house there are two three teens or two three small children give them some duties if there is a small child or teen give them duties okay your duty is to check this your duty is to make the budget of the house you will decide what kind of dishes we will make you will decide what what we will bring from outside these two children will decide where will we go for outing on the holidays small small responsibilities if you give children will feel elated and create a time during the day where everyone shares one thing that they enjoyed at dinner time all of you sit and everybody should share a story within 2 minutes or 3 minutes where everybody enjoyed so this is sharing happiness when sharing happiness if other people are happy you will also feel happy share responsibilities equally among children making routine dealing with difficult behaviors promote kindness and compassion keep your teen safe online online also nowadays when children are there you have to check children you all you should also be careful that there are so many different kind of things on social media which are harmful there are certain kind of behaviors which are not required which 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 are bad sometimes so you have to take care of this that online you are safe you are not getting into any trouble by putting up anything on instagram by putting up anything on any other social media so involving teen into certain kind of uh, routines during the day is very important keeping them safe parenting feel it parenting is a mixed bag full of different emotions experiences full of hurdles surprises as well as a heaven of unconditional love and affection the journey of learning with kids never ends no matter what ages they are there are four kind of parentings effective parenting how you treat your kids build their behavior if you are the parent is very arrogant parent is every time just scolding children child will also become a child one day he will become a man who will scold everybody consistent parenting follow the rule which you want your kid to follow so as a parent if you follow all those rules which your kid wants to follow automatically your child will be a replica of your behavior of your image active parenting participate in your kid's routine life actively ask him what was the good thing today 
what was very interesting today what is the activity in which you want to take part i will take care of i will certainly help you then your child child will create a child will show some interest and then will take part attentive parenting know what is going on your kids life remind yourself it's okay not being perfect all times for every child it's not that every time they should be perfect they should be doing all great great things everybody has such kind of curve where sometimes they do good do great sometimes they can't do great this is very interesting story uh many parents they are very protective and i call them helicopter parents moms are helicopter moms wherever child is doing something wrong helicopter mom will reach there or the parent will reach there will try to fight with the teacher what is this what is this so what happens that they are over protective with the child and child if he has something if he has some difficult time will always remember parents he is not ready to face difficulties and problem so what happens in garden one person was one day moving around here and there and he saw one pupa and out of that the caterpillar and this was coming out so he helped one of them he thought that it is very difficult to come out so came out from caterpillar it it turns into butterfly you know life of a butterfly from cocoon so what happens this person helped one of one 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 of the uh, one of the egg and to take so that the butterfly can come easily very fine after one or two days when butterfly was developed he found that all are, all other butterflies were flying but this butterfly was unable to fly why because head his this butterfly's head was too big was unable to make a balance and was about to fall here and there then he asked one of his friend who was a good biologist what is this so he said see this is very important struggle for a butterfly then when it is coming out of the uh, coming out of that egg or cocoon that time this struggle makes his or her life or her body very very balanced but since you helped and you helped by penetrating that particular egg and when it was coming out this was your fault and this particular butterfly didn't face that particular struggle so that to make its body balance and that's why his or her head is bigger same thing is here every child wants to be perfect every child should be perfect every child should be perfect in their own mood with their own parameters that does not mean they compare themselves with anybody else they have to try to become better than every other day so last day next day much better so all these struggles are important to make you butterfly means make you somebody which is perfect perfect means bodily perfect thinking okay nobody is perfect in world but yes you are normal you are not abnormal but if your parents will protect you too much then you will look for help throughout your life then you will look for them but you if you want to be independent then please parents let them let them fall if they are falling no problem they will stand up if they are having fight in school is small fight somebody has hit them let child think about that and try to find the solution you should not get into solve every problem because when child will become young he will look for you so try to make him independent it's a beautiful story about it so six hours are to be remembered by all the parents first is recognize recognize mistake but don't blame don't blame your child for anything or everything mistakes are there you would have done some mistakes child will also commit some mistake that is part of life by mistakes on see only we learn new things so don't blame him for everything reconcile apologize children learn forgiving no problem i have seen in few houses even a mother apologize with a child who is of the age 3 or 4 5 sorry beta sorry beta i could not make your bag today i could not make your bag today then child also learn to say sorry so if you will apologize child will also learn apologize apologizing if you forgive your child child will also learn to forgive you otherwise children have so many things here their mind that my father did this thing oh that was very bad they don't know when they become when they grow old then they think oh that time it was good so children should also learn forgiving 
resolve problem by mutual win win situation it should not be like you want to resolve one issue by one slap if you want to resolve one issue by something else this is one win situation otherwise it should be win win situation remind remind them of good behavior and appreciate don't remind them of their fault every time you will say oh you did not do good in exam see in half yearly also you did not do good in exam in class 8th also you did not do good in exam no whenever they try to try to remind them good things yeah in class 8 you did well but in class 9 you could not do well good child will learn there you got very good marks here you did not get very good marks child will learn reward them and encourage and restrict restrict couple fights in front of children i have seen so many so many parents fight in front of their children if, even if the child is of 3 years or 4 years of age and if parents are fighting and somebody is shouting loudly child will learn one thing okay to resolve anything one has to fight he will start fighting one more thing he will learn if louder the voice you are the winner because he saw among parents that father was louder so father was winner if mother was louder mother. so please parents whenever you have a moment of fight tell your children we are going to take tea you go in your bedroom there you have a fight and come silently outside so that child cannot find out who is the winner mother is a winner or father is a winner keep your fight away from your child otherwise child will learn to resolve any problem we have to fight and that is wrong thing i'm quite sure parents will take care of this ah uh, i'm asking parents only first parents parents what was the last time you hug your child a you can write one month before or one year before or three years before or five years before in chat box i would like to see parents are writing good so i can see various answers are coming and let me verify it from children so i can see aisha aisha dhalukha yeah i can see many many children over here so children now it's your turn when did you receive a hug from mom or dad a month back an year back or 3 years back a variety of answers are coming i will i will i will not go in deep but please remember parents if you make them feel happy they can alter their decision they can change their behaviors hugs can bring changes a hug a day keeps the frowns away very simple <laughs> so when your child is showing tantrums ask for a hug come on come on come on roshi just give me a hug will show some tantrum but when will hug everything gone will forget everything and in beginning child will refuse yet you insist once it's done melting begins or tell we will talk only when you will give me a hug i can see i can see mr ahan datta i can see one more parent s s a uh, dear parents i i think uh, i must uh, admit when i was an adult maybe i was teen and after that i missed my father's hug and can you believe i got his hug after after almost 35 or 40 years and that too when he met with an accident and he saw me i was principal of a school that time i i met him and he hugged me and i thought my god what a hug my father is no more but i still remember that hug so please hug your child unconditionally most of the things will melt down both of you will come closer hug is very very important and children like small small children like aisha and all they look for hug aisha if you are listening just show me we we yes i have seen aisha's we so they they need hug and you can resolve lot many problems with a hug so after after this particular workshop uh, i i request parents to hug their children and children if your parents are not hugging go and forcefully hug them you will get some surprises and that will be great for you one word caution is enough i have seen so most of the mothers if child has left the towel on the bed 
the mother will say hundred of things. Yesterday also I told you, but you are not listening. You are like this. No, teach your child with one word. When you are saying towel, child understood that I have put my towel on the bed. I have to remove. You say only towel. Say breakfast. Don't say. Roshni, come for the breakfast. Time for this, 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 this. Five sentences. Why, say, why are you wasting your energy? Make it a habit. When you say breakfast, your children are understanding that yes, mother wants to say this is breakfast time. This school time is this. Bus is coming and this, 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 this. Everything. You would have seen many advertisements. These advertisements come for uh, one minute or two minutes initially. Then the things are reduced and then it come for fifty seconds and you get to know about the whole story. Same thing is use just one. bad time parush bad time so parush knows that what mother can tell if i want go for the bed similarly shoes school bag lunch box one word is enough when certain agreements and understandings are there then you need just one word reminder family meeting sometimes child will say i don't want to do this then parent can say okay i will do this begin by validating their feelings like say i don't want to brush you can say i knew you don't want to brush if you don't want to brush your teeth okay and we can do it together let's do it together you want to keep playing and it is time for bed do you want one story or two so try to get a dialogue and particularly pandemic time it is required the compliments appreciation evaluation of past solutions and all these kind of things are very much required so kind and firm both are required sometimes you should be kind by using word and and sometimes you should be firm mother mothers are generally the subject of the teen child teen child 14 15 he or she thinks i am the great i am i am the greatest i am the king of the house or i am the princess of the house and mother is the poor subject because she only listens everything and she is the one who takes care so mother should tell child i am not your friend i am your mother to give you the boundaries that you need to become a functional responsible adult you may hate me now but i don't care it's my job to raise a responsible adult not nurture bad habits in my teenage child so very very important mother should give a clear cut message to the child that these boundaries are here because we want to see you growing up great six things your team needs you to say i hear what you are saying i understand how you feel i see so many gifts in you appreciate i believe in you i love you no matter what whatever you are doing if you are failing in hindi still i love you i am always here for you remind them that every one has a story if they had a tough time with the friends or teachers in school tell them everybody has a story no problem even i had same kind of thing but that did not disturb me for quite long encourage your child to find similarities with those around he will find and sometimes be sympathetic try to get into your child shoes and try to find out how he would be feeling how she would be feeling it's called sympathy remind that there are many points of views sometimes to respect others opinion is also important otherwise children think i am correct and i am always correct and everybody else except me is incorrect positive discipline tips are there so always there is a fight among everybody's mind between positive thinking and negative thinking every day two bulls fight in every person's mind positive thinking and negative thinking do you know which one wins the one you feed the most if you feed positive thinking it will win if you will feed negative thinking it will win and you will become negative so your brain should always be positive be patient with your team it's very important avoid swapping channels while watching tv together due to some advertisement tell them this is the time you can tell them it's very important parents should teach children some kind of things which they need to know from them not from those people who are not academician not from those books which have pornography not from those kind of resources which are not not mature enough so they should not get such kind of knowledge from those kind of people now during study particularly uh, these difficult times after every 20 minutes you breathe in breathe out why whenever after 20 minutes you are studying so your brain is 
uh, having a lot of energy and due to that, the oxygen level reduces. So after 30 minutes or 20 minutes, if you take breathe in, so oxygen is coming in your lungs and through lungs it is going in blood and uh, heart and reaching brain. And in brain, there will be sufficient oxygen. Otherwise, when you are studying continuously, you will find that after some time, you might have problem. You will have headache. So breathe in and breathe out. That exercise after 20 to 30 minutes is very, very important. Don't tell about your stories to your children that I was doing this, I was doing this. I used to work very hard. I used to go for that. Those hard stories of hard days. Now, if things have changed, tell them to understand those changes. This is important. Children and parents, look at this. This is eye relaxing exercise. Now, most of the children are facing the problem of eye strain. I can see Sibat. Sibat, are you listening? Just show me your V. Sibat. Sibat Jehra. Show me the V. Sibat. Yeah, show me V, v on the screen. Yes, I can see. So, what is there? Sometimes you will find that your eyes are dry. Sometimes you will feel, feel that your eyes are paining. So what to do? These are interesting exercises. Look at one exercise where eye is rolling here in the corner. Figure eight exercise. So after every 20 minutes, you do this exercise for one minute. You can see how good for dry eyes. What you can do, you can blink, but don't do too much of blinking. If you will do too much of blinking, it will become your habit. And that is very bad. Looking at somebody and then you are blinking continuously is not good. Uh, good. Hia is blinking to her mother. I can see. So Hia, do not blink too much. Only a little bit. Okay. Eye palm exercise for 30 seconds. You can do this exercise. Closing your eyes with the palm. And then keeping eyes closed. And after that you open, you will feel some cool. Roll eyes on all sides. Like figure eight. This is beautiful thing. If you are continuously in front of computer, it is for parents also. This is 20, 20, 20 rule. What is rule? After every 20 minutes, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Very easy. So 20 minutes, if you, you are continuously studying, then look outside the window. Don't look inside the room. Inside the room, it will be hardly 10 feet, 5 feet or 15 feet. After 20 minutes, if you are in a closed room, then look outside the window away from 20 feet. Why? Because your eyes are made to see the things from near and things from far. That will be exercise when you will see something from far. So that I will maintain that particular thing. And for 20 seconds, you look 20 meters, 20 feet away after every 20 seconds. Other is that eye exercise that relieve eye strain on eyelids just slowly slowly try to try to use your first finger index finger and try to do slowly slowly you will feel some some kind of strain reducing continuously so you have seen and most important is figure eight exercise try to do this figure eight exercise look up go side come down look up go side it should not be a circle try to see how eight is being made see how eight is being made, eight, try to make eight or just look at on the wall that suppose eight is written and try to see eight. Yeah. Yes, Aisha is doing perfectly fine. Yes, he is doing incorrectly. Yes, now it's correct. Yeah, I can see two faces. I can see Manat also. Manat, how are you? Sixth B. Manat Duggal. Yeah, good. So you have learned these eye exercises which are very, very important. And parents, please remember. It is not for children only. It is for you also. It's very important nowadays during screen times. However, many parents are uh, complaining about uh, this screen time. Remember that our body, eye, everything will become habitual of this. And after a few days, this screen time will not trouble at too much. But take care. Help your child to grow all times. Don't make them puppet to... Ah, this is for small children. This is... I have a very big complaint. And I think... Uh, Mannat is also having that complaint. Whenever the guests are coming, what the parents will do? Parents will ask the child, come, come, Mannat, come. Just recite a, recite a poem which you learned yesterday. And Mannat is reciting Baba, Black Sheep or anything, whatever she has learned. 
after two three times she will become she will become scared whenever the guest is coming she will go out of the house that the guest have come my parents will call me and as a stage actor a stage artist they will tell me to do this thing please don't do this if you are thinking that your child is enjoying this no way once they can enjoy but not every day they can enjoy so do not make them a stage artist in front of their guests for their entertainment no child are not getting entertainment welcome with warmth on return from the school if when when they are returning from the school welcome with warmth oh my doll has come from the school my son has come from the school good get in because one day one class one child uh, uh, complained me sir do you know i am being discriminated at home i said my god class one child how he said sir when my father comes home at 5 o'clock my mothers get ready and then whenever he is coming is asking uh, pani lenge chai bana do everything and when uh, whenever i am going from school the first question mother is asking ah uh, again your clothes are dirty give me give give me your diary what is the homework so please mothers take care ask your child do you want to drink water do you want to drink some glucose water do you want to drink some juice and then then talk about further do not criticize their teachers or school do not criticize their teachers otherwise it is like if you will say oh here your that ma'am is like this only she is very cruel and she is not a good teacher so it is like that that you are telling the child or you are telling the patient that we are going to a doctor but that doctor is that doctor is useless and she will be treat, uh, she will be treating you so don't criticize the school at all otherwise children will not have that respect for teachers and please for children their teacher is something amazing and they love their teachers do not create any hatred give them quality time and keep promises listen their story of the day fix time fix up one time that at 8 o'clock in the night we will be listening what what mannat has done what he has done what aisha has done what sonu has done or monu has done at 8 o'clock so what child will learn child will learn big thing even if he is in class 3 4 5 he or she will learn how to present himself or herself there will be in body clock he or she will get to know at 8 o'clock i have to do all these things so she will remember she will present she will compile them properly in the brain and will be able to tell all these kind of things teach them about good and bad touch that you know it very well everything so there are few other things don't be over protective which i have told you be an example for them as they the as they imitate parents demonstrate respect for their grandparents that's very important if you will demo, demonstrate respect for their grandparents they will certainly demonstrate respect for you when you will become older avoid comparison among siblings do not compare them and do not compare them with the with with your friend child oh see you have got 19 marks in hindi aisha and you know the uh, you know the jalila has got 20 out of 20 do not compare please your child is your child and their child is their child sometimes tell your child i think you are awesome good you make me smile thanks dear for working hard i am really proud of you tell your child your child will feel great you have such a great idea now try to find out what kind of parent you are are you a tiger mother i i have seen so many tiger mothers in my school also what they they think that whatever they want to say that is the ultimate order and the child has to follow child will not learn anything then they will they will always be subordinating somebody as i said there are helicopter parents what they do constantly they will intervene and prevent failures it is very difficult there are positive parenting which is required permissive parenting is there neglectful i will reach towards end you can see something so please write in chat box what do you see especially parents what do you see what do you see on the screen <laughs> right on chat box very good i can see black spot good i can see it looks like star no i could see they are saying black spot black stain continuously very good so dr pare this is the problem yes, see yes sir now in this screen the bigger area is being covered by the white space okay and everybody is looking at this black spot 
same problem <laughs> yeah. is with the children they yes, have to sir. say there is a bigger area so every child has lot many qualities and yeah. one fault one fault and parents look at that fault yes sir so look at look at full screen of the child and try to behave try to respect and try to appreciate the child thank you very much that's all from my side thank you wonderful sir wonderful it was it was really amazing you know uh, sir i have just uh, you know listen you number of times you know like today's talk was really really very extraordinary and uh, uh, parents you know i mean it was a really patient hearing from all the parents and uh, students you know and lot of take aways from today's talk you know like uh, the parents have to change first you know before they they change and their the, the wives and their sons and daughters how to use an, uh, an electronic gadget you know is more important you know and how how to encourage positive thinking many habits are it can be improved then covid parenting you know that don't compare your child you know that is a message for for, for parents from you and say rewards you know and one one very powerful thing you know take away that is don't use the word do not i mean don't instead give them the reasons so that's a very good suggestions you know the parents should give equal time to their children and uh, the take off and landing example was wonderful and the emotional changes to, uh, should be addressed by the parent during the covid you know if, if there is any frustration and uh, they need to be addressed and uh, one thing you know is very powerful that is that is no more helicopter parenting you know and uh, yeah yeah and the the hug parents are required not the helicopter parents so there are so many things sir and uh, if there are any question you know because uh, we are we running I'm, out of time I'm, but I'm, any one or two questions you know we can take i'm i'm very happy to see vedan she is smiling hasini is yeah. smiling and i think yeah. they have already planned for take off and take off and a good landing from yeah, tomorrow yeah. they will start making their bed vedan they all really enjoy me Yeah. Vidhan, if if agree, then show me V. Asini, show me V. <laughs> All those children who, who who will start making their bed in the morning, just show me V. Rishi, you are looking at me and not 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 showing V. Rishi Agrawal. Yeah, good. That's very nice. I can see Sibat Sibat Jehra. Show me your V. I can see her with mom. Yeah. So to, today, everybody enjoyed thoroughly, sir. And uh, I think you know there are so many takeaways. And uh, should we uh, any question or should we move away? One move further. We can take, sir. One, one. Yeah, one definitely one or two question. Definitely, sir. Uh, they are writing. It's a really amazing session. I have taken this whole year. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, yeah, the black spider and what about the village side parent? Oh. some one parent is asking you know the jyoti deepak you know what about the village side parent ah uh, every every child needs mother every child needs father that's that's village side parent yeah. they are they are very well blessed because yeah. they 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 are accustomed out good good indian culture and heritage only thing is keep your child close to you and it is very simple close to you means show that you love him or her whatever he or she is even not good in studies most of the great people in world were not good in studies please remember that this world is being bossed by most of the mediocre people the brilliant people go in on one side only they become scientists and all but the minister was somebody or the great great bureaucrats were there they were not good in very much in education it should be overall development of the child that that is required yeah yeah that's good one reema patel you know why a teen avoid talking to a father uh, who is living other city Yeah, yeah tell tell the father that next time when he come first thing he should do while getting in hug your child if you will hug the teen i'm yes. telling you 100% the same question was asked by one parent uh, just 3 months back yes and sir she, she sent me a special email for that that yes the problem is resolved tell your tell your husband that when he is coming first he hug the child and ask when how is he i'm telling you next time child will look for that hug that's if one I, of I, I that is a mantra the story i have shared you the story that i still miss my father's hug which he gave me in my memory once in life if that's you give great. more hugs your child will remember you that's wonderful that's wonderful lot of uh, praises you know yeah it's a wonderful session and amazing and everything so i think you know sir the, the biggest takeaway you know is uh, the hug i and think I you know exercise. the eye yeah. exercise yeah. <laughs> is very important and eye exercise definitely and particularly lot of online things are happening so that is to be taken care of and so nice of you mr ap sharma we are really blessed and it was really amazing the Thank flow you. 
your involvement and the, probably the, you were getting the energy from children you know that is the yeah, source I'm, i can I'm understand i'm so happy to see so many children that's why i stopped yeah, really. so, as soon as somebody was coming on screen sibati yes, is smiling mother is also smiling yes yes yeah. and it is something very special you know the child i mean the children with the parents you know they are enjoying the talk i hope they will really uh, going to to remember this particular talk for many years to come so thank you very much sir and uh, we have to go ahead now My and before pleasure. mr uh, dr pradeep uh, shrivastha Uh, giving a sign to uh, sir uh, we want just 5 minutes and uh, i just i am going to do one small uh, thank you mr ap sharma so nice of you and uh, yes. please yeah keep guiding us and keep inspiring us and just your blessings required always so i am going to have a small session just 5 minutes and that will be of uh, uh, process based questions uh, which i am very fond of and uh, so we we are going to have a small uh, event of 5 minutes for children so what the kostu has spoke about the questions you know so i'm going to ask you a question and at this point of time i request all the parents to have a small walk you know let us leave your children alone you know so because they are going to to answer a very beautiful questions you know i mean not rot learning kind of questions but there will be a stem there will be information given they will go through that and deduce the answer on the basis of that and they will be writing their answer on the chat box and the first correct answer will get a fabulous um a speaker you know a bluetooth speaker so results will be announced just after the sign tune talk by uh, dr pradeep shrivastav so get ready get ready for some beautiful questions very simple questions of course and i'm going to share uh, this my presentation and i'm sharing screen uh, please let me know that you can just see it can you see my slide children yeah okay that's good so the first question uh, it is for class 3 and 4 and please uh, only you have to reply the question of your category okay if suppose you are a student of class 3 4 then only you have to reply that otherwise you will be having your i mean 5 6 7 8 and 9 10 questions okay so i am i am reading out i am reading out biodegradable degradable substances are substances that can be broken down into water carbon dioxide gas methane gas or into simple organic molecules by biological agents such as bacteria every day substances that are biodegradable include food refuse tree leaves and grass clippings many communities now encourage people to compost these materials and use them as humus Uh, for gardening it's an organic rich material so the question is like that the word biodegradable means mainly two a broken down by microorganisms broken down by effect of heat broken down into carbon dioxide only and broken down into water so just few seconds and you have to reply in the chat box the students of class 3 and 4 the answer you have to reply 30 seconds and the answer is there in the stem in the information given above the above lines is it all right should i go ahead okay fine so next question One minute. Yeah, this is for uh, class five and six, class fifth and six. So I'm going for the the stem. According to the United Nations Environmental Program, the coronavirus disease 2019 is zoonotic. Such diseases are occurring more frequently in the latest decades due to a number of factors, a large part of them environmental. One of the factors. is deforestation because it reduces the space reserved for animals and destroys natural barrier between animals and humans another cause is climate change too fast changes in temperature and humidity facilitated the spread of disease this is the information and what is the question the zoonotic disease is transferred a from man to animal 
B, from animal to animal, C, from animal to man, and D, from man to man. Students of class five and six have to reply it. You have to write in chat box either A or B or C or D, and the answer is given in the in the lines were given. So these, these are the process-based questions where no rote learning is required. You have to carefully go through the information given right there in the question. And just, just by making use of your analytical skill, you have to reply. <coughs> I think you have done it. And those who are from class fifth and sixth, they must have replied to it. Now class seventh and eighth, come on. This is the picture, you know, let us see. There is a there is a catch in it. Pulses are the major source of protein in a vegetarian diet. Pulses need less moisture and survive even in dry conditions. Being leguminous crops, these are mostly grown in rotation with other crops so as to maintain or increase its fertility. Leguminous plants are those plants that help to restore the fertility of the soil as their small nodes absorb atmospheric oxygen and fix it into the soil. All pulses are leguminous. This is the information. And what is the question? What do you understand by crop rotation? A, cultivating a sequence of different crops on the same ground. B, Cultivating a sequence of same crops on the same ground. Cultivating a sequence of different crops on different grounds and cultivating the same crop alternate years. Okay, A, B, C, D. So you have to reply, what do you understand by the crop rotation? And this is the picture also, you know, fine. So those who are from class seven and eight, they have to reply it. So I'm going for the next, that will be the last question. And after that, Dr. Pradeep Shrivastava will be speaking on sign two. Class ninth and 10th, please read. Eutrophication word has been coined from Greek word eutrophos, that means well-nourished. This occurs when a body of water becomes overly enriched with minerals and nutrients which induce excessive growth of algae. This process may result in oxygen depletion of the water body after the bacterial degradation of the algae. In eutrophic lakes, algae are starved for light. They stop producing oxygen and in turn begin consuming oxygen. This is the information. What is the question? What could be the meaning of the word eutrophos? A. Saline, saline. B, full of nutrients. C, short of oxygen. And D, poorly nourished. So you have to reply. Class 9th and 10th student on the chat box, you will be writing the answer. So thank you very much. That is over. And I think you have enjoyed doing it. We wanted to just tell you that what are the process-based questions and where, because now we are going into the 21st, we are already into the 21st century, but now the critical thinking and problem solving is required. No more rot learning is required. No more questions on the basis of the remembrance is required. Recalling is required, not required. We need analytical questioning. We need synthesis of knowledge. We need how to evaluate the given information. So I just showed you some of the questions on on the basis of that. I think now it's the time that I should invite Dr. <clears throat> Pradeep Srivastava for the talk. But let me just wait and I have to uh, read out his uh, illustrious, it's over, it's one minute. I will be speaking now uh, about Dr. Pradeep Srivastava. Dr. Shrivastav, uh, uh, I just welcome you for the talk and uh, all of our students and I mean, today's the children and parents, they are full of energy. 
they are quite happy now and now they are looking forward to have one another beautiful thing probably they might have never never just thought of uh, of your your caliber and your presentation so i am just giving a brief uh, introduction of uh, dr pradeep shrivastav a scientist by profession is the former deputy director and a senior principal scientist in csri central drug research institute lucknow india he did his msc in organic chemistry and then phd from kanpur university and has got an experience of more than 36 years of research and development work in the in the area of synthetic and natural chemistry so that was uh, as a scientist work now he is the first person in the world to start a novel concept called scientoons a new class of cartoons which are based on the concepts of science he is the father of scientonics a new branch of science communication he has delivered more than 1351 invited lectures and in so many places from india nepal bhutan thailand singapore hong kong turkey china portugal germany sweden spain france ukraine australia south africa brazil usa and in caribbean countries also and more over on different topics he has made the world leader he is he he, he made india the world leader in the area of science tuning he has delivered many programs on television as a visiting professor in many many universities in india the most prestigious award he received the outstanding young person of the world award given by junior chamber international usa to the top 10 selected persons of the world annually and he got this particular award he is also the international brand ambassador of a singapore based magazine the young scientist and he is an sc uh, american chemical society chemistry ambassador so these are the things i i very humbly invite dr pradeep shirastav the the scientist the person who has really given india a big name across the world with his beautiful hilarious scientoons dr pradeep shrivastav please come thank you dr brijesh pare for making session very vibrant uh, respected ap sharma sir i think it was really a very nice time for me to listen to each and every word you said so, and i learned a lot today i think uh, i never thought uh, there can be a lecture like this you know is so <laughs> full of uh, things you know around us which happen from morning to evening and in fact everything you said to me uh, you said to the audience i really enjoyed so thank you so much sir for sharing and i think you all the children who are studying in your school or college they're extremely lucky to have a principal like you all the parents all the children and uh, let me share my presentation with you you can enjoy very well today and uh, parenting in the pandemic and the world of science tunes so friends you can, children you can see the top uh, bottom uh, top to bottom and in the bottom uh, is my institute central drug research institute the biggest drug research institute of asia and uh, here i worked for 34 years and this is the institute that make modern drugs so in india you might have taken crocin so we are the first to make crocin in india and gave technology to a, about 10 companies that time so children we are attending today not a seminar but webinar so before the lockdown many of us didn't know what is webinar so webinar is actually a seminar which we conduct on internet and that means when you do on web a seminar it is called webinar what is the advantage here you are sitting in dubai or maybe abu dhabi i am sitting in lucknow and dr brijesh pare in ujjain in india but we are seeing together each one then we can interact we can through chat box you can ask the question so that's how it's so interactive and uh, this is the new word you can say but what is the advantage for me you can watch my dress and here suppose sitting at home i am delivering a webinar so i am telling my wife darling before i start giving talk a talk can i get a cup of tea please so here is the advantage you know and this really happened in india when a found the very top officers of the country he flashed his picture with a tie 
and shards below. No, in reality, he was uh, secretary in the government of India. So it is reality something. So please put off your uh, put off put off your microphone and put your mute mode. You can say. So uh, let me start my presentation. See, I am a scientist. So when you listen to this lecture of many scientists, see how you feel. And then lecture starts after ten minutes. Situation. And what happens? But nowadays nobody sleeps. What they do? They take out the mobile. And as uh, Sharma sir was telling in each and everything about the mobile, here is one thing mm -hmm. that uh, they take out the mobile. They are in your lecture, but actually they are mentally somewhere else because the lecture is boring. So what they do? They finish from WhatsApp to Facebook to everything. Yeah. So why it happens? The reason is very simple. There is a communication gap. So suppose I am a very big scientist, and Professor Par is a person of different discipline. Sharma sir is of different discipline. So when we are unable to make connectivity, what happens? It becomes boring. So I'll take you to the world of science tunes today, and here you can see it. It's a very interesting area, and I'm very happy in this area. India is the world leader today. So uh, actually, science tune and science tune mix is the gift of India to the world in the area of science education and science communication. Uh, how I started the whole concept? You can see a beautiful country called Singapore, and many of you might have gone there. This is how Singapore looks, you know, so beautiful in the night. And here there is a very renowned university, National University of Singapore. And here, on 26 May 1988, I delivered the first lecture of my life. and the topic was very boring development of drugs and pharmaceutical industry in developing countries had to be a technical topic boring topic so i am a scientist but at the same time i am very good artist i can draw things in seconds so as a scientist i was making lot of cartoons also and you know children cartoons are li liked by all the people whether they are small kids or many of the prime minister and president they watch mr jean um, be in they watch you know, tom and jerry so i thought why not to use cartoons and scientific lectures and when i selected those cartoons i thought these scientists uh, these cartoons are different they convey science also and they are cartoons so why not to give them a new name so i announced science tune as a new concept for the first time in the world in singapore and i am very happy it was accepted and i this lecture gave me the first international award of my life so from here the story starts and what are the science tunes they are cartoons only like but what is the difference here their job is not only to make you smile and laugh but they tell you about new researches subjects data concepts in a very simple way science may be looking technical to you but through science tunes you can enjoy science you can learn science comfortably and here in science tune there is a scientific information on the left hand side then comes a cartoon and then what cartoon is speaks is called satire So, for example, children, you must have studied brown in movement. What is brown in movement? Suppose there is a glass of water with you. So, all the particles of the water they are not stationary. They are keep on bombarding each other. They are moving in a zigzag manner, and this movement is called brown in movement. Now, this cartoon was published by Chemistry International mm -hmm. magazine from USA and was sent to all over the world. And here is a professor driving the scooter like this. You can see very zigzag. So, the traffic police is very angry. and he is telling this is not your lab and remember professor you are a human being and not a particle to follow brown and movement on the road so it's a very simple way now you can remember very easily what is exactly brown and movement i want to show you another cartoon you know you know that forest are being cut very extensively nowadays in the whole world uh, you must have seen that there are rain forest in amazon area my might have heard in brazil Uh, argentina the rain forests are there the biggest rain forest in the world and what happens there is a big damage to the rain forest there is a big damage to the forest in india and other countries of the world 46 to 58000 square miles of forest are lost each year you can imagine if this is the way forest are being cut what will happen in the future so this is 2020 i want you to take to 3020 in india i know there is a plant called tulsi we all worship tulsi and this plant is there in most of the indian uh, families and this is a very medicinal plant as a scientist i can say it's may very very useful 
plant that is the reason we worship it otherwise we, we should have been worshiping a rose or some other thing but tulsi has got enormous medicinal properties but see this is 2020 we can find a tulsi and we can worship we can offer water but i am this picture is up 3020 that means 1000 year after from now and here there are two rats and one is telling another this photograph of the tulsi plant was given to her by her great 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 grandmother who 1000 year back in 2020 had a real tulsi plant and a 24 megapixel digital camera so she took the picture and she left as a wasiyat you know to the family members and that's the reason how we are worshiping the tulsi plant so this is a cartoon only but it tells you where we are going now if this is the situation what will happen amazon forest i told you 17% of the forest has been lost in the last 50 years amazon the biggest rain forest of the world uh, in latin america and south america so if this is the situation what will happen so it's a warning to you maybe again i'll take you to 1000 years after and here you can see a museum is there in museum some photographs are there the parent uh, uh, father has come with his son both are wearing oxygen cylinder see we are wearing mask nowadays but th this is in 3020 and they are having oxygen cylinder so the child the child is asking the father father why in 2020 nobody used to carry oxygen cylinder what was the reason father said to his son that in 2020 a very unique thing existed on earth which was green at the top brown at the base and it was called a tree and that is the reason nobody was to carry oxygen cylinder they can move any place they want they can go to any place they want and whatever they want they can do very easily without caring for the oxygen now 2 lakh 65000 flowering plants are there in the world but our knowledge you know is confined to 0.5% of them only how much they are important medicinally fruits they give seeds they give hmm uh, dry fruits they give so we know only 0.5% if you see the rainforest our knowledge is confined to 5% only but a tribal person who is living in the forest illiterate tribal person he knows 50 to 80% of the medicinal use of those plants and trees found in the forest area so here i am showing you future again this lady is wearing some ornaments they are not gold silver branch or diamond or platinum the latest jewelry then this left lady surprise what she is wearing actually the, the one on the right hand side in the red sari says no 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 these are not gold silver diamond or platinum ornaments you know i always think of the future these are pure wood ornaments only that means is it going to happen in future that wood is going to be so expensive so rare so now i want to show you one very interesting scientoon and how i want to show you how in lucknow one scientoon changed the entire action of the government see in this sign to 25 years before the garbage used to be carried in lucknow in an open truck like this you know it was openly carried and there was a spillage behind if you are driving a scooter or motorcycle a uh, shoe may fall on you have a dirty polythene bag or a bottle may fall on you so what happened you can see here uh, the person behind is scared and but you see the driver he is totally bindas he is tension free but his friend is uh, friend is asking see you take 6 to 7 trucks of garbage every day in lucknow where do you throw it and his answer is it's very simple you know i put the garbage in the truck make 5 6 round of the city that's all and then again i will reload it so what i happen after seeing this sign tune the minister for environment of the government of up where i live in lucknow immediately asked the municipal commissioner of lucknow that in future no garbage truck will be going like this it will be all covered and so that there is no spillage and on the road now when i started sign tunes you know what happened uh, sign tunes got ex accepted around the world by american chemical society international you know, biochemistry england international union of pure and applied chemistry sweden who unesco unep the list is very long you know there was an international acceptance of my sign tune around the world so in 
1989, the committee that gives Nobel Prize, Royal Swedish Academy, they accepted my research paper on science too. That how I can explain the rules of chemistry. So, children, you know that is a rule called Hund's rule. And what is the Hund's rule? In suppose, you know the orbitals. There is atom. In the atoms central, there is a nucleus. Around the nucleus, the electrons are moving in elliptical orbits, round or circular orbits, and though of those are called orbitals. So in p in s orbital two electrons can be there in maximum in s in p there can be six maximum electron in d ten and in f fourteen maximum electrons can be there. So suppose in p orbital uh, there are four electrons, so it cannot be there that two may be there in first box, two may be there in the second, and one is empty. No, there is a rule that uh, these electrons will be put one one each and after when singly filled. The doubling starts, and this is called Hund's rule. Now, here Professor has come with his wife, and it says, you know, that allotment of double rooms in this hotel is based on Hund's rule. That the rooms will not be double till they are occupied singly first. And he is worried when he goes to another one room, she goes to another. When the doubling starts, what will happen? Now, I made a website. You can find a website. You can see it whenever you have time. Uh, www sign two dot com. It's not sign tunes. I'm sorry, sign tune dot com, and you can log in uh, to it and you can see so many sign tunes. And this was inaugurated by Secretary General of International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, Sweden, IUPAC, Professor David Black, who was the Secretary General. Now I met Dr. Kalam, former President of India, uh, and he asked me that can I deliver a lecture on nanotechnology using sign tunes? So this is the way. Starting from the drug industry, now I deliver lecture on 30 different subjects: nanotechnology, DNA technology, and medical science, hepatitis B, climate change, safety in labs, glycobiology, mass spectrometry. Some of the subjects are very, very technical and boring, but I talk all through the cartoons so you can enjoy them. Now, after delivering 600 lectures around the world, I thought, why not to name it as a new science? So. It was Port Elizabeth in South Africa when, on December fifth, two thousand six, I announced this a new science called Sign Tonics, and I am happy today. Today, India is the world leader in the area of Sign Tonics, and people are learning only from India. And that's you can see how I converted my hobby into a new science, which is making the India very, very proud. So, my suggestion to all of you that all of you are talented. Each one of us, every child has a hobby. Utilize that hobby to develop it, to do to it the best you can. Develop excellence in that, and you can do wonders. So here is my friend, Dr. Carlos Taxira. Uh, he is from Brazil. He organizes the exhibition of my sign tunes around the world, uh, where I am unable to reach. He organizes that. Uh, this is the latest book on Corona. So I'll discuss some sign tunes about Corona. And uh, bye bye Corona is the name of the book published by the Vigyan Prasad of the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Uh, here, this book was launched only day before yesterday by the Governor of UP, Honorable Miss Anandi Ben Patel. And you can see I'm there with my family and my friend Nimish Kapoor, who is from Vigyan Prasad Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. And this book was launched. If you want this book, it is available with Vigyan Prasad. You can always buy. It's a very, not a very expensive book, but it tells a lot about it. So I'll show you some of the sign tunes on Corona, and uh, Corona virus. Actually, you know they are a large family of viruses, and they cause illness in animals also in human also. Human also there are several Corona Corona viruses known. Uh, some of them uh, they were earlier known like Middle East Respiratory Syndrome (MERS). SARS was you must have heard a few years back SARS severe severe acute respiratory syndrome, but COVID nineteen actually which was discovered in you can say in December two thousand nineteen it created a havoc and whole world was locked down uh, you can say because of this virus called COVID nineteen. Otherwise even if you buy uh, a detail so two years back the you see back of the packet you see it says very clearly that. This virus can kill. This uh, soap can kill coronavirus. So coronaviruses are known, but one of the variety, COVID-19, came out to be very dangerous for us, which is we spread it like anything. It spread like anything from China, Wuhan, China, to all five continents of the world. 
So now here comes a cartoon and they are all there. These are the Corona viruses. One Corona is talking to other and he's telling, stop all of the routine infection job. Listen to him very carefully, the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narin Modi. <coughs> What he says at 8 p.m. today, remember the first lockdown was when it was announced, the Prime Minister Modi came and he addressed to the nation that what we have to do in future. And he said, the Corona says, otherwise it will be disastrous for all our programs and future plans, okay? If we have to succeed as a coronavirus to infect so many people, we must listen what Prime Minister says and then we design our strategy accordingly. Uh, th there is a problem now, you know, many of the people, they look healthy, they don't have any symptom, right? They don't have running nose, they don't have fever, they don't have uh, chest congestion, they don't have sore throat, but still they are having very heavy virus load. That means they are corona positive. So scientists recently discovered that if you lose the symptom of taste and smell, my son is a doctor and he was corona positive even uh, just a month back. And what he told me that he was not having any other problem except he lost the smell sense and taste sense. So I think if you lose these two things, be careful. You may be having coronavirus infection. Take it seriously and don't care. Don't worry, you know, you'll be cured. Nothing to worry, but always keep a watch on your activities. So here, what happens? Food was uh, prepared by the wife to the and given to husband. Husband complained. Uh, there is no taste in the food. So wife said, don't say you might uh, like this. You know, you may be having corona infection. I know you very well. You know, you never like the food cooked by me. Not only today, but for the first, last 40 years, you know, you always complain and complain. But this time, what you are complaining, if there is really no taste, go for corona test and you may be having infection. Now, uh, I want to tell you, many of the shopping malls were closed. Picture halls were closed. Why? Because picture halls and shopping malls have a circulation of the same air, recirculated air after air conditioning. Now, scientists are worried. And I tell you the latest breakthrough of the technology. First thing that titanium dioxide nanoparticle. What is the nanoparticle? One nanometer is one billionth of a meter, 10 to the power minus nine. In Hindi, I can say eight meter ka so corona hissa. That is one nanometer. So what happened? These titanium dioxide crystals, 40 nanometer in size, they kill the bacteria. But now recently they discovered nickel foam. And when you pass the air through nickel foam heated at 200 degrees centigrade, 99.8% corona COVID-19 is killed immediately. And as after that, when you recirculate it again, the air is free of any corona you can use in shopping mall in other places like metro station, airport station, where air conditioning is going on. So I think the latest nickel foam uh, discovery that to kill the corona in the air of in the process of recirculation. So these two bacteria, they are very sad, you know, and one of them telling, bear this heat, but don't go near to any AC. My uncle was sitting in an AC without knowing it has the latest catch and kill air filter. So instead of enjoying the cool air, the moment AC was put on, he died in a second. So don't go near to any air conditioner. It may be disastrous for all of us. Now, social distancing is something you must have heard millions of times. What is social distancing? Suppose a person is having corona infection and you are away at least minimum three feet and maximum six feet away from him or her then the coronavirus, which are coming as a droplets when he sneezes or coughs, will not reach you. So by keeping a safe distance from the infected person, and you don't know who is infected person when you move in the market or shopping mall or somewhere, so always make a social distancing. That means keep minimum three feet away and always wear a mask. I met a corona positive friend, you know, a month back, and I, I was only three feet away, but I was wearing N95 mask. He was also wearing a 95 mask. I never knew that he is corona positive, but I maintained a distance. And in the evening, somebody told me, the person you met, Dr. Kanojia, actually he's corona positive. I was shocked, but luckily I was safe because I could maintain the distance and I wear, actually, uh, I, I was wearing the mask. So social distancing, now this is non-pharmaceutical infection prevention. That means without medicine, how infection can be prevented 
by keeping a safe distance from a person who may be corona positive so here a lady has gone to buy a mask in the designer mask emporium for example it may be there in dubai or maybe abu dhabi you know is a latest shops are there and here shopkeeper is very smart and he is telling this lady latest electronics and nanotechnology is used to design the this social distancing mask you might have never heard so far social distancing mask so he says if anyone reaching you close to 1 meter it will give an alarm it has a built in bluetooth and wifi and above all it is automatically changing the color matching to your dress so can you believe really a company has launched recently a xiaomi company has recently launched a mask which has the battery also inside that will record everything around you what is happening so i made this cartoon two months back without realizing a cartoon can be converted into reality so mask has come up by the xiaomi company that records the movement around you that has the storage device that has the battery now i want to tell you another important thing few points i would like to remind you though you might have heard millions mm -hmm. of times one we are always a mask and 95 mask safe mask and it, it is not like a putting it here in the neck around neck no please cover your mouth and nose only then it is a worth otherwise it's useless second thing wash your hands frequently why we are told like that because uh, ap sharma sir was telling you know about this washing technique you know that how seriously we uh, after con uh, this corona pandemic we are so what happens you know suppose you go out you touch uh, a lift door you touch a door and open it you know push it the glass door and a person before you might have been Uh, corona pass to who touch the same thing so you may carry infection when you come back home and you wash your hand with the soap what happens immediately corona is killed in 30 seconds and you are safe keep social and physical distancing i told you discipline yourself corona at the ap sharma said rightly said it is a blessing in disguise it reminded us the importance of to be fit being fit is the most important thing one can think of second thing it also reminded us that we had forgotten about haldi our turmeric chavan prash giloy huh? lemon ginger these are traditional things you know and the corona reminded us that please take these things to keep yourself healthy and fit and fine avoid unnecessary travels don't go till corona pandemic and the vaccine comes and then practice yoga regular walking exercise and to keep yourself fit so here what happens there is a roadside barber and person on the right you can see with lot of be grown beard and big hairs he went to uh, that roadside barber thinking that he i'll go there and he will cut the hairs very immediately you know but barber is a very learned person he was well informed he was very careful so he said to that person who came for the hair cut that first fill up this form he gave a form to him mentioning your aadhar card if you are in india travel history record attach latest corona test report and download arogya setu that means the we have a uh, app in india where it tells you that you are safe or not and who around you is uh, what kind of infection or severity of infection he has and then apply online for hair cutting come back with the otp i sent you so this is very complex and barber is so much aware and is so alert that no no you do you just cannot walk in and have a hair cut no i am extremely careful follow the rules and that's how now i want to tell you something what corona reminded us this is uh, coimbatore international airport in tamil nadu chennai here in this airport you can see there is a tree which was not cut by the airport authority of india normally trees are never near the airport but why it was not cut because it's the neem tree azad dirakta indica that is the botanical name of the neem tree and neem tree is called a complete hospital can you believe it's anti cancer the seed oil is anti diabetic it is anti fungal huh? the bark if you take anti fungal huh? it is anti bacterial it is anti septic uh, in chicken pox it is given if you it is very good for your skin uh, it purifies the blood then the pesticide made from the neem is the safest pesticide in the world so neem is very very good for you and here the neem is telling what do you think airport authority and of india is not aware about my benefit no that is the reason they have not cut me because they know it very well this is the neem tree how it looks like and you can see more close up of the neem leaves then this is the 
fruit, you can see the nimbori, we call it, and the oil of the seed is actually anti-diabetic, antioxidant, and several other properties, mosquito repellent. Then, can you believe what are the neem's unique properties? It increases your immunity. If you use the neem leaves, you know, and just chew the neem leaves, your immunity is strong. You are not easily prone to viral infection. It's the nature toothbrush. Have you seen the, uh, if, if you are in India, neem twigs are there, neem datun. You brush your teeth with that. Is it like a toothbrush with built-in toothpaste? And when it comes to your mouth, you know, the nano quantities of the chemicals present in neem, which are anti-cancer to anti-diabetic to several diseases they take care, it is going inside your body through the tongue and that's how you become healthy. Uh, insecticide, I'll tell you, and for long hairs also, if you wash your hair with the neem, I'll extract. No, or if you wash with your, simply boil the neem leaves and that water, your hair will be very strong and they're black and they will always be shining. So, in, unfortunately, in India, we have plenty of neem datun available, neem twigs available for brushing the teeth. You chew it and then brush comes out immediately. After chewing it, yeah, brush your teeth and then divide that remaining into two and it becomes a tongue cleaner. You can clean your tongue. But see how they are sold in America. $10 you are paying for six datun and $10 is something like 700 rupees. But here in India, you can buy the same datun for even five rupees, but it's still. So this datun is telling to us, I am toothbrush with built-in toothpaste and a tongue cleaner, everything. Now I want to tell you something very interesting. There's a Konark Sun temple in Odisha in India. And in Odisha, if you go there, this temple was made in 13th century, 700 years back it was made. That time there were no antibiotics, there were no antiseptics, there no, there were no wound healing compounds, but babies were born. So how the mother was keeping the body after the delivery, very, very safe and infection free. Here is the answer. This lady is there between her legs. You can see a part is there in this part. Neem leaves were burned with smoke coming out from this neem leaves. Actually used to disinfect the entire body of the lady. So you can imagine 700 years before our ancestor knew the importance of neem and how it can be used as an antiseptic wound healers and all that and making the body infection free, especially after delivery. So here is the neem tree and he's telling, dear humans, you have forgotten me, not I. I have not forgotten you. Now, uh, Corona has reminded us to keep our body fit and strong. Here is one thing in front of you. This is called giloi or the tinospora, cardifolia, or it is called amrita. That means amrit. You can imagine it was said that during Amrit Manthan of the ocean, what happened? Few Amrit drops were fallen and out of that this Giloy or the Amrita grew up. So if you take this Giloy, it is an amazing medicine that can make you very, very young. And I would like to show you how the leaves look like, like the beetle leaves. You can see the fruits, how they look like. And it is called the root of immortality. It is a parasite actually. You can see it here grows on the neem tree especially. And if it is growing on the neem tree, you can use it. These are there, you can cut it like a six inch piece, crush it, boil it into water. And when our water becomes 50% concentrated, you drink that and that's how you can make yourself very, very strong. Now, can you believe it? number of the benefits Gulo is doing? The Ayush Mantrale, the government of India is going to declare this as a very important medicine of India. One important thing, which Gulo has got, it boosts your immunity. It boosts your digestion. It treats asthma. It treats eye disorder. Gulo is an aphrodisiac. Treats chronic fever. Treats diabetes. Treats gouty arthritis. Reduces anxiety and improves mental strength. Contain anti-aging property. That means if you, and another thing which I used to know when I was a kid that if you take the juice or the concentrated decoction of the Giloy, Chronic fever is gone. It is very good to control the tuberculosis also. So these are the benefits Glow has got. Another thing I want to tell you about the black pepper. This black pepper is very important spice. Uh, especially in South India, you know, the Cochin is there. And remember Vasco da Gama used to travel from Portugal to India for taking only this black pepper. And it was called black gold that time. Why he was interested in black gold? Reason is that in 
in Europe, you know, winter season is very long. Most of the time, the snow is falling. So everything is freeze. You cannot go out comfortably. So it was a food crisis those days. How to keep the meat of the animals safe for a longer duration? So it was discovered that if you keep the meat along with the black pepper and salt, it will stay for a longer time. And that was something very important for Europeans. And that is the reason Vasco da Gama used to come to Cochin in Kerala in India. And they, you, he used to carry bags and bags of black paper back to Portugal from India. And that time, black paper was only grown in India, nowhere else in the world. So you can imagine that was the reason. And that's the reason it's called black gold. Can you believe it helps in losing weight? Detoxifies your body. It opens up your heart blocked vessels, prevent cancer, cleans your intestine and stomach. Potassium salt it has got, so it is very good for your blood pressure also. And heart rate is controlled, helps in producing RBC. That is very important. You know, when our red blood carcasses are produced, rich in vitamin B and produces calcium, prevent constipation. That is the property of black pepper. And that India is proud to have these kind of spices. And now here, black pepper is telling, there was a famous Hindi song in India, and that was a person who was a very black in color and he used to say, so what if I'm black? I've got a big heart, huh? a very nice big heart. So he said, hum kale hai to kya hua dil wale hai. Hmm. Now I want to show you one thing. Uh, good, you know, the jaggery is very, very important. Remember, few years back, when the Britishers were there in India, all the workers who were working in spinning is the textile mill, the asbestos camp mill. After that, their duty is over in the evening, they are all given 200 grams of jaggery to eat. Why? Because if you have cotton fibers, asbestos fiber going to your lungs during the whole day, you work in the mill, what happened? You may develop cancer, you may develop asthma, you may develop asbestosis. So if you take jaggery or the good, your that lung is cleared. So today I request you all, if you have not seen even jaggery, I request you all, it is called good in India. Please take good every day and it will help you to clear your lungs. And once lungs are clear, you will have less chances of having Corona because your lungs will be strong and they will be uh, clearing all the impurities and the uh, in anything which is dangerous for lungs. So here a foreigner has come to buy jaggery. And these shop, shop keepers in India uh, who are selling the jaggery, they don't know the jaggery name of the good. They know it as good only. Now this foreigner wants and he says, I want something which is brown. It is sweet like sugar, antioxidants. It's very rich in several other things, minerals. But I don't want good. He said, I want jaggery. And poor this shopkeeper having plenty of jaggery around him, which he knows as good. He says, I don't know. And he's asking his assistant, what he wants actually, I think we don't have jaggery. Without knowing that, they have plenty of jaggery, which is called good in Hindi. Turmeric is very important. Remember, if you take turmeric, it is very good for your brain functions. Alzheimer, Parkinson, dementia, that means the memory loss. If you take turmeric, it is good for your lungs. It is uh, anti-inflammatory. That means when swelling is there, it is very, very effective. For your skin, you know, you might have heard about the Bico turmeric vanishing cream, which is very good for your skin. So turmeric is also equally good. And if you take it, then especially the lungs function is very good and your brain function is very fine. And here, a few years back, America filed a patent on turmeric, but India fought back because I was working in curcumin, curcumin a compound found in turmeric for the last 20 years. And when we fought back, we finally won the patent. And that's how uh, turmeric is back. You can say nobody can take the patent. And now here, uh, this uh, young scientist is asked to supply the curcumin compound from turmeric for medicinal use. But he did not do anything. He could not produce anything. No supply of curcumin. So when the director came, he is telling, sir, you gave me 100 kg of turmeric to isolate curcumin from that. But I'm sorry, if she turns her face, only her shining face will tell where all the turmeric has gone. That means she made all the turmeric into turmeric, turmeric vanishing cream. Now, ginger is divine medicine in Ayurveda. If you, I request all of you, please 
take ginger throughout the year. It's like a miraculous medicine, miracle medicine. And this medicine is very effective if you are taking antibiotics and you are taking ginger also. The effectivity of ginger is increased by 50%. So you can imagine how beneficial the ginger is for all of us, how it looks like, uh, very similar to the like of the family of uh, turmeric. And I want to show you is the Lord Ganesha. He is worshipped in India. Now, what is the advantage of ginger? It can support your immune, immune system. It can reduce your risk of diabetes, anti-inflammatory. It can set an upset stomach. Morning sickness is done. It may help prevent heart disease. It may lower your risk of cancer. It may help you lose weight. So you can imagine one, this ginger has got tremendous important properties, medicinal properties for all of us. And we must use ginger. But during summertime, you, you use less ginger. In winter, use plenty of ginger. Uh, you can say, take a chutney, you can take, you put ginger in the, your tea. And that's how it will be very, very good for all of you. You can enjoy that. So here, Lord Ganesha, see very carefully why I'm showing you a cartoon. This scientist is worshipping. And these two other his friends are telling. Initially, I also thought that he's worshipping Ganesha. But when I saw carefully, I found actually it is, he is worshipping ginger. Actually, this is not Ganesha, but ginger because he is a scientist and he knows the importance of ginger. So instead of saying Ganesha and Nama, he says Om Ginger and Nama. Now, can you imagine you know, what is uniqueness about the ginger? Ginger has a very unique property. It only kills the harmful bacteria in your body. Remember, only harmful bacteria in your body and not the good bacteria of your body. So it is that is the reason it is called a divine medicine, huh? a very effective medicine. So second thing is that if you are having nausea feeling, so many of the airlines, they give you ginger toffee. So chew when you take off or during landing, especially because many of the ladies, they have nauseating feelings. That means, you know, they feel like vomiting. That time, if you chew a ginger toffee, it is very comfortable and you won't feel vomiting or nausea. So here, uh, I told you that it never kills the good bacteria, but kills only the harmful bacteria present in your body. So here is the stomach of a person, a human being, and inside there are two bacteria. One is having a compass and he's telling his friend, oh my God, my compass says that he is going to vegetable market and my sixth sense says he will buy ginger. It's better we go out by the first available flight in the morning, you know, from the body. Now, I want to tell you, children, uh, we should speak always if you have some feeling. Uh, Sharma sir was telling you so many things, you know, and uh, what is the importance is that you should speak if you have some idea, you have some thought, you have to ask a question, don't be a silent person. So I tell you a story, how a little girl in America, her name, was Grace Bedell and she, when she spoke, what was the change? He is the former president of United States of America, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, before he was fighting the election, he was looking like this on the right hand side, not very handsome, not very impressive. So there was a girl, Grace Bedell, and uh, this Grace Bedell, what she did, she wrote a letter to Abraham Lincoln and she wrote to him, uh, Mr. Lincoln, you don't look handsome. You don't look very impressive. You're not charming. So no, no American lady will vote for you. So my suggestion is that you grow beard and then you can look handsome and American ladies will vote for you. Letter went to the President Lincoln's office and his assistant saw the letter and threw it. What a nonsense. But Abraham Lincoln was passing by. He saw that paper and he took it out and he read that. After reading the letter, he wrote back to Grace Bedell. Grace Bedell was only 11 years old. And he wrote to her that at this stage of life, I think I should not grow a beard. But I think it was question was hammering all the time. And he grew beard. And see the left hand side, how he started looking like. And as a result, the American ladies voted for him. And what happened? Um, Abraham Lincoln became the president of the United States of America. His father was a cobbler. You can imagine a person from such a background becomes the president of America. And after winning the election and becoming the president, what Abraham Lincoln did, the first official journey of the president was to visit that small village near New York where the Grace Bedell was living in a very small village. And he went and thanked Grace Bedell 
that because of you only I am the today the president of United States of America. So my request to all the children here, all the kids here, if you have a question, if you have an idea, if you have something extraordinary, if you have some uh, vague idea, something weird idea also, you speak up. People may say it may be bad, but they may not reject you. Even if they may reject you, once they may accept you, you know, that's my reason. So I wrote two books, you know, uh, one is the Corona book I showed you. This is the second book, uh, first book rather, it was on DNA technology in human genome uh, with the top man of DNA technology in India, Dr. Lalji Singh, the man who solved Rajiv Gandhi murder case, the former uh, prime minister of India. So this is the book. Uh, children, I want to tell you that learn from A, alphabet A. Why, what is the lesson here? A never gives up in this struggle. He failed 999 times. If you write number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up to 999, A is not there. But A never gives up. He waits very patiently. And if once you write 1,000, A is there. And what happens? He becomes bigger than 999. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion to all of you that never give up. Even if you fail 999 times, one day you are going to succeed. And once you succeed, you are the winner. This is the Grace Pedal. You can see her face. And this is the uh, memorial in that small village where Grace Pedal used to live. Now, very quickly, uh, Dr. Pare, I have five minutes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. <laughs> Here, I want to show you six persons. You know? He is Albert Einstein. Yes, sir. Up to four years, he was unable to speak. So when her... His mother went to the teacher. Teacher said, no, no, this boy cannot speak and I don't think he can do anything good in life. But today, what happens after a few years, he became the top most scientist in the world. Walt Disney, you know, the Mickey Mouse, huh? that uh, Donald Duck, Tom and Jerry, all these are the creations of Walt Disney. But when Walt Disney wanted a job as a cartoonist, the company he went, wherever he went, he was rejected. See, it is useless. You have no idea. Oprah Winfrey, the third left-hand side lady, she was a black lady, and she went to become an anchor in the television. She was rejected, but she never gave up, and today is the, she is the best anchor of the world in America. Then on the top right-hand side is the my, Michael Jordan, the famous basketball player of America. He was thrown out from the team even when he was in high school, in American school. But later on, he never gave up, and he became the best basketball player of the world. Steve Jobs was thrown out of the company and after some time, he owned that company. So he never gave up. And Beatles, you know, they were the singers, but initially nobody gave job to them. They were all rejected, but they never gave up and came out to be the best singer in the world. So my point is that always be a winner and who are the winner in life? The people who never ever give up. Hmm. And uh, this is something, you know, when people say negative to you, never take it, you know, that way. Always be positive. See, there was a frog who was deep. And frog is trying to jump and reach to the top of uh, portion of the tree. But what happened? He was deep. So all other frogs started making fun of him and they started uh, shouting, it's impossible, it's impossible. And deep frog thought they are all putting me, you know, encouraging me. As a result, what happened? He thought, he took it very positively and he reached to the upper portion of the tree. So you can imagine, don't be a negative person, learn from that. So I keep on traveling children around the world from Australia to Africa to Europe to America. He's one of my fans and I'm his fan. You can recognize the person very well. I know, don't need to say who is he. And uh, I gifted my one of the sign tune to him. Uh, when I met him, Ranveer Kapoor, I must be remembering him. Uh, in the last, I want to tell you one thing. This is the last slide of my lecture. Uh, friends, all of us have got 99.9% .9 DNA same. So remember, you are as good as Abraham Lincoln, as good as MS Dhoni, as good as a very good actor like Amitabh Bachchan. You can be anything, you know, any good person in the world. Remember, you have 99.9% .9 DNA same. But what makes you 0.1%? The 0.1% is that how hardworking you are, how sincere you are, 
And do you have the cap one thing in life, never ever give up. So if you have this attitude, never ever give up, you are going to be a winner, you are going to be a successful person, and you are going to be a leader. So always what happens, you know, never ever give up. And this story is there. When in South Africa, I coined Scientonix, that evening there was a beach party. So in the beach party, what happened? These are the three African drummers. They were playing huge African drums. And what happened? They invited me to play African drums. I never played in my life. Even I saw African drums for the first time. But then I thought if 99.9% .9 DNA is same, that means what they have, I too have. So I should try my best. And as a result, I started playing the drums. And next day, there were beach party awards announced. Can you believe I got the best beach party award out of the 10 awards? And what was the award here? See it carefully. This was a real African drum they gifted me. So what happens? What is the story here, children? Never ever give up. Even if you fail 999 times, like the word A of the alphabet, be a winner. Eh? Come out with winning attitude. And only thing which makes you a great person, all successful people in the world, they have only one thing in common, that they never ever gave up. If you have this attitude, you're going to be a winner. You are going to be a successful person. So with these words, thank you so much, Dr. Pare. Dr. Yes, Pradesh sir. Pare, it was my yes. 1,000 free 52nd lecture today, which I okay. delivered. And I'm very grateful to you, sir, for inviting sir. me a chance. And uh, another, I'm extremely grateful to give you a chance to listen to A.P. Sharma, sir. I think that yes, lecture sir. was fantastic. I can never yes, had a lecture like this before. <laughs> because yes, I thought, you know, these are very light topics, but I never saw every yes, single thing, every single incident he was explaining. I was really amazed to see how closely, he, how minutely he observed the action of the kids, action of the parents. So thank you so much, Rajesh Pare, for giving thank me you. opportunity. Thank you, sir. Learn a lot. And I could, whatever little I knew, in 40 minutes, I tried to share my best. Wonderful. Only a trailer you saw, and I hope we keep on meeting again and again. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's a wonderful, sir. And uh, I'm sure you know that uh, all our uh, uh, listeners today they they heard you for the first time. And they listened to you for the first time about the sign tunes. And sir, you are one of the best science communicators I know, really. And uh, sign tuning is really, really very inspiring, and the best way you know uh, how we can inspire our students to learn science through humor. And people say, you know, that it is not possible to have humor, you know, when you, you are learning science, but this is possible. And you made it, sir. You have done it, sir. So keep inspiring us. Uh, keep um, um, guiding us, sir. Thank you very much. And I hope uh, everything, I mean, all they, they enjoyed uh, very well. So nice of you. Thank you. Very so I invite now Kostu to... Yeah. So what we'll do next is uh, we have the winners of the quiz. So I would like to congratulate Manahil Fatima from Presentation Convent Srinagar as a grade three, four winner. And Sunesh Tomar from Delhi Public School, Tapi. He's a grade four, uh, five and six winner. Then Malhar from the Delhi Public School, Tapi again. And Riddhima from Monfort School, New Delhi. So our uh, office will get in touch with you and uh, we'll be glad to uh, send over the prize that you have won in this quiz and before we go out i just uh, try again to see if uh, the video can be worked out right now dr pradeep your talk was wonderful and i i, I learned that how i can use cartoons in education also thank you hi next 90 <laughs> seconds a very important yes, way no, you both have the stalwarts in your own field, sir. You both. Also, have you shared your entire screen or have you shared the uh, the single uh, window only? Make it full screen, I think. Make it, make, full, make screen. it full screen, yeah. Is it full screen now? No, no. Also, you have shared only the window portion. I will suggest you to go for uh, sharing your entire screen. Okay. Then your uh, uh, peop, uh, then your uh, make it full screen. Make it full go screen. Go on slideshow. Go go on uh, go on full screen.
sound sound is missing <clears throat> Hmm. Here we have sound because the there is a sound also, but it is not coming up. <coughs> there is no sound coming. I don't know. But even visuals are uh, informative enough. You you have always been very encouraging, sir. <laughs> no, we have to fight. <laughs> you you never used don't and this all negative kind. <laughs> I'm I'm very happy to see that these children are still sticking to. Uh, you know the computer. Aisha is there. Neha is there. Manat is there. Vidal. Sir, sir, sir. That is a great thing. Really, <laughs> really great thing. And if, the whole time, you know, they were very attentive. And they and were enjoyed. Glued, they are glued to the glued to the screen. Now, after yeah. this, do the eye exercises, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, Kostub, let us thanks. Okay, so thank you to both the speakers, uh, Mr. A.P. Sharma and uh, Dr. Pradeep for uh, uh, having time for us and uh, giving such uh, enlightening uh, presentations to our students. And to the students, I would like to say that I hope that you take a leaf out of the presentations of both our speakers today and uh, as well as register for the Quantum Worlds events that we are having next month, starting next month. Mm -hmm. And we'll be sending you all the relevant information to the email addresses that you have provided and we'll be in touch with you. For everything else, you can always write to us on WhatsApp or on mail, or you can call us on our numbers. Mm -hmm. So thanks and uh, that's all for today. And uh, please stay safe and stay healthy until the next Thank time. You, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Epi Sharma. Thank you, Dr. Thank Pradeep. You, Dr. My, my personal, uh, it's a personal obligation on me and from Quantum World. Today, today, Thanks, Gar so Gargi was not present. I could see her comments. <laughs> <laughs> Gargi is writing her exams, you know, like, like, like that. So, okay, okay. but thank you, sir. Keep blessing uh, these Kostub and Gargi and... Uh, They're always, always, always there. Personal. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all the all the participants. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Epi Sharma. Thank you, Dr. Pradeep Shrivastava. Thank you.